Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 6th. Our readings are Judges chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 30 and Hebrews chapter 13. And our thought is, let marriage be held in honour. The final chapter of Hebrews contains several straightforward statements which are just as much needed today, if not more so, as in the first century. Remember those who are in prison as though in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body of Christ. Verse 3. We have been hearing quite a number of reports of members of the body in recent years, indeed in recent months, who live in difficult situations in a growing number of countries. How much will this spirit of intolerance spread before Christ returns? This animosity is toward those who turn away from the beliefs around them to seek to believe in what is real and true. The next verse says, Let marriage be held in honour among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. And we are seeing increasing evidence of free love, as it was called when we were young. But in the end, nothing is free. God exacts a form of payment in judgment. God calls marriage a covenant. Read the message he gave through his prophet Malachi. The Lord was witness between you and the wife of your youth, to whom you have been faithless, though she is your wife by covenant, we read in chapter 2, verse 14. Real marriage is undertaken in the sight of God. Let us beware of twisting God's commands to try to make them different. Malachi told the people that they had wearied the Lord by saying everyone who does evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delights in them, verse 17. God's principles are being twisted more and more today. The next point in Hebrews is, keep your life free from the love of money, verse 5. And how much do most people love money today, and often borrow as much as they can to enjoy what they see as the good things in life, instead of having an attitude as we read in the verses which follow, be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you, so you can confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man can do to me. Can you confidently say that? Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.